Good morning. There are many, <coughs> excuse me, many, many types of containers, sizes, shapes. I found a very unique container. I didn't want pipes. I didn't want running water because if you're unaware of a leak, it can do a lot of damage to your, ve your vehicle. And there are a lot of people who live in their vehicles or they live in um, a minivan and they need smaller containers, thin containers, containers that can fit anywhere. I found one. But I'm showing you all the containers that I carry. I have a van. The two gallon, the three gallon, the square ones, the round ones, they take up a lot of room. And if you want to carry 10 gallons with you in a minivan, it's pretty hard because they take up so much room. But this one that I found, and I'll show you three different kinds. I'm, I'm loving it. And um, I will put a link for this size in the description. So let's show you what I found. Good morning. I wanted to start the day out by talking about water containers. There's all kinds of water containers. I have a five gallon, two gallon, and two three gallons. This is three gallons. I, I bought the five gallon and it's very, very difficult for me to lift it. It's over 40 pounds. <clears throat> you just lift it and pour it into other containers so I can manage to handle them. Um, it's kind of difficult. Even the three gallon and the two gallon. So I have a one gallon and I pour everything into the one gallon or I just got this one which is one and a half gallons and um, it's very thin. Um, it's, you know, it's a daily chore. So I figured out that I've, I've tried many, many of these types with this, the spigot and um, the glass is round. They're all so big, but this one is just fits perfectly in my van. And um, I'll show you where it goes. But this one, uh, all of these were under $10. And, uh, this one was like $8.88 and it's the first time I've seen anything like this at Walmart. So I really, this is the first time I have a sort of running water, and I really like it. So I feel like I've found the perfect container. And the reason is, is because it's so, so thin, it can fit in many places. And, and I'll show you where I fit it, but let's measure it. So we have three inches by... nine and a quarter inches 14 inches little little under 14 inches and this is really a very convenient size and um, the spout is working really good so it hasn't leaked yet but I'm gonna build something to go around it that will hang here like a cup or something I'll just drill some holes in the cup and when it's sitting because all of these seem to tend to leak eventually and I don't want water all over my van leaking without me knowing again. We're talking damage to the van. So I'm just going to build something like, I have a little cups that I bought for like 25 cents. I'm going to drill holes in them and then um, crochet some little something that can hang right here to catch any dripping. Um, let me show you where I've put this. As I said, the bigger ones take a lot of room. And I only keep three gallons in my van. When I travel, I'll get the five gallon out, the three and a two gallon maybe, or the three and three and there's eight. Plus I have the gallon container and the gallon half. So I have, a, I normally carry about 10 and a half gallons when I go on a trip. And it usually lasts me because I'm very frugal with all of my water, as all of you should know, uh, and be very careful with your water. So I am just carrying 10 gallons. That's not normal. I carry five gallons, five and a half gallons in my van when I'm in the city. Outside the city, it's 10. So I really wanted to show this because I have not seen one before, as I said be before. Uh, never seen one this shape, and it is really, really the perfect shape. 
and there you have it and I can the spout is good it doesn't leak I am gonna hang something from it so if it ever starts leaking it can be collected into something so it's not leaking on anything and doesn't create a problem um, and I haven't found out what but I'm I'm looking for something I may just take um, a string and put it around one of these uh, containers I, I showed you last time let me let me pull it out I want to thank you for watching this video I hope it has helped someone to find a, a container that they can use in a small space please view subscribe like I'll see you next time.